All right, I know, I know. You must be thinking, geez, this guy buys so much stuff that's got stuff wrong with it. Well, actually, when I bought this, there was nothing wrong with this. Well, except for this tire here. <laughs> I guess that's the worst thing that was wrong with it. But um, we went and fired it up. We put a bunch of wood through it, and uh, it's running great. Running really, really well. Shut it down, fired it back up, and unbeknownst to me, this ignition switch here was stuck in the ignite or start position, which was leaving the starter engaged. And so after we shut it down, of course we couldn't hear it because the engine was running so loud, um, we had to start it back up and there was nothing, no response whatsoever. So of course we look at the solenoid and the thing is just melted. And uh, we bypassed the solenoid just to go and see if we could get any response from the starter. And we knew the starter motor was working, but we decided to gut the whole thing. We took the starter out, we took the ignition key switch out, and we took the solenoid out and replaced it all. And what we found with the starter was that the, uh, the Bendix gear had been completely stripped off. Thankfully, the flywheel hadn't been damaged at all. After we replaced it, um, the thing started up no problem whatsoever, but of course, because we're just a bunch of rednecks and we don't really plan things very well, we had coincidentally run out of fuel at that very moment in time. So we couldn't get the thing started up, and of course that drained the battery, because we're not knowing what's going on. But in any case, uh, this is uh, one of my more recent purchases. I've had it for a couple months now, and haven't really used it much, because we've been working, just trying to, uh, to clear and drop some trees, and get this, uh, this property cleared off here. But uh, it's a nice little unit. It's very, very rugged. It's a hybrid between what appears to be a manufactured wood chipper model and a backyard redneck throw together. We discovered that this engine came out of an old Ford Mustang, which is cool. It's a uh, 289 Ford motor. And it's on a uh, really rugged trailer, you can see here. But once it gets going, I mean, it really throws, it throws the chunks. Um, it's already since snow, but I mean, they're wood chips, 20, 30 feet away. So we'll, uh, we'll fire it up and see, uh, see how she runs. Mustang. 